Hello guys, my name is Annette and the channel is dedicated to all the things I love and care about and today's video is all about the 8th house in astrology. Turns out I actually have quite a bit to talk about each house so from here on I'm actually going to make a house, a house. I'm going to make an individual video for the 8th, 9th, 11th and 12th house because I don't want to make these videos too long for you guys. I don't want to bore you guys to death so we'll just give each house their video from here on. <laughs> So the 8th house is a house of rebirth and transformations, ruled by the sign of Scorpio and the planet Pluto. Pluto, which is a god of the underworld, uh, eight, people with the strong 8th house placements, or people with the sun, or the moon, or Jupiter, quite often, back in the day, would work jobs such as working in a mine, or working in a cave, you know, working underground, because Pluto rules this house. And Pluto is the god of the underworld, quite literally, which I'll probably make a video about that um, later as well. You know, video of each planet. But anyways, um, the eighth house is all about life and death transformations, like the beautiful phoenix rising from the ashes and quite literally being reborn. You know, people with strong placements here would probably work in life and death situations, translation, the ER, surgery, surgeons, technical sir, technical Surgical technician, surgical technician, when you help the doctor in surgeries. <laughs> um, 911 operators, hello, they're helping others in life and death situations. Um, healers of any kind, people that, and also the eighth house is all about having a vast interest in the occult. Hello, astrology, hello, tarot. Hello, energy work and all that awesomeness that, of course, yours truly is interested in. Um, I mean, astrology, you know, how can I not? <laughs> um, yes, but a lot of people that are interested in the occult, uh, not just astrology, tarot, but even like the other, the other dimensions, you know, uh, ghosts, are ghosts real or fake? Or people that like to watch a lot of horror movies. Um, would have some strong placements to the eighth house. Let's say you have your moon here. This would be very in strong indication that you, Mr. or Miss, have very uh, good intuition, have a very strong intuition. And you quite literally could have a stronger connection to other dimensions or realms, if you believe in that, of course. Or if you don't believe in that, it would just translate to have a very, very strong intuition. Which, um, in today's world, having a strong intuition is not necessarily a bad thing, you know? You get to know people's intentions real quick when you meet them. You get to know if someone, yeah, you just have a good judge of character when you have a strong, whoop, intuition. Uh, let's say you have your son here, then you would work in one of the many careers that I just mentioned. But, like, for example, um, let's say you, um, your eighth house is ruled by cancer, or you have the moon here. You quite, you quite possibly could be a midwife. What's a mid midwife, you say? Well, it's those beautiful women. I guess there could be men too, but usually it's a women's profession. It's those beautiful women that help other women give birth. Because this is a house of life and rebirth. And, bam, transformations. So, you quite literally, you quite literal could be a midwife if you have your sun here or your moon or this house is ruled by the sign of cancer. Um, let's say you have like your north node here or Rahu, which is the same as your north node or Saturn, Mars. You could be um, interested in the occult and the uh, everything that people don't necessarily talk about all the time. I mean, now, now, now and day. Uh, in today's society, all these things are starting to become a little bit more normal and whatnot, you know, but back then, it's it would be kind of sort of a secret when you would go to a, a psychic or to get a reading or when you would um, go somewhere to get your cards read, you know. All these things are starting to become a little bit more normalized, but people with strong placements here also like shit light to uncomfortable topics um, can help others um, get ready for, I feel like there's a proper word for this, but get ready to pass away. Pastors can be seen from this house. Um, 
people that can help other people be okay with um people that work in hospice can be seen from this house as well because they help others kind of get ready for when they um pass pass away you know i actually uh, knew someone who had their jupiter in this house and she had had quite a bit of uh near-death experiences and uh one of them in particular uh made national news and um you guys are familiar with uh with the shooting that happened in vegas a couple of years ago um she was actually there for that shooting and to me it's just fascinating because one thing is to be reading people's charts and be doing readings and another thing is to see how on see how accurate these things are you know I remember telling her, you probably had a couple of near-death experiences and this and that. And at that point, she opened up and told me her story. And I was like, it's, it's, it was actually quite intense because her life was in danger. And I'm not going to go into details because I, I like to just keep people's uh, privacy. But she was in that shooting in Vegas a few years ago. It kind of did leave her quite traumatized because it wasn't just a few minutes kind of situation. It it went on for hours and hours and she was particularly very closely unfortunately involved in that um in a very very close proximity of it and she's she um she had ptsd from that for quite some time afterwards you know and that wasn't her first near-death experience that she's had but definitely the one that's probably has left the most impact in her life you know so it is quite fascinating when you read somebody's chart and you're so accurate just by knowing what planets and what placements mean what, you know? And there's so many thousands and thousands of different combinations. But that's, uh, that's what's fascinating about this. But anyways, the eighth house is all about rebirth and life and death situations. Uh, Quite often when someone goes through a transformation in their lives, it's because they're going through transits that are going through this house. Um, if you have your son here, some people may see that as a bit of a, you're going to have difficulty really having a lot of success or really tapping into your true potential when it comes to career and when you what makes you happy long term. But it really just depends on the person. And like placements here also get way better with time. We're talking late 20s, late 30s, depending on what else is going on there. But Hugh Hefner himself, um, he had his son here and other planets. He had quite a couple of planets here. And as you know, Hugh Hefner is Mr. Playboy himself. And um, this is also a, a house of sexual taboos. So uh, when you see lots of planets here, especially like your Mars, which rules sexuality quite literally, um, yeah, you have never made a whole career out of making sexual taboos not so much of a taboo and being like outspoken and being just so out there. And I mean, he's a creative playboy himself, you know? And yeah, I mean... That goes to show that it doesn't matter where your son is placed or what things you may have in your chart. If you put the right amount of effort and if you really tap into what you're here to do, you can have so much success no matter what, you know? This concludes the video on the 8th house in astrology. And of course, if you liked it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment down below whatever you thought of this video or not. It's cool, man. It is cool. <laughs> and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.